одному искать себе временное прибежище. Таковым стал стадион в Раменском. Рубинша стал единственным российским клубом, который стартует в Лиге Европы со второго отборочного раунда. В принципе, на этом этапе подопечным Курбана Бердеева даже волноваться не стоит. У казанцев самый высокий клубный коэффициент very pushy. Now he's off like a rocket. We're on Altufiev Chassé. Now they've got the uh, counters on the lights so that you know roughly how long you've got to wait. I think it's a very good idea to have that kind of traffic. Altufiev is one of these areas where you've got the kind of Lots of very high-rise buildings, residential usually, um, perfectly okay inside, but uh, look a little bit kind of samey on the outside, so that you've got what you might call a, a bit of a concrete jungle, but the architecture quite suits the, um, the climate, because of course when you get these massive blocks like that, they become cheaper to keep warm in the cold weather, so it's... Uh, it has more sense to it than you might imagine to bundle people up a bit like that. Right, so now we've got down to uh, there's a minute of red and 14 seconds of green that they were offering at that, at that light. There you go, that's what the landscape looks like coming down to Altofyevska Chassia. There's worse ways to live than to live like that, up in a big huddle like like that. Uh, there's, there's pluses and minuses to it. It looks a bit overwhelming at first when you see it, but uh, it's not without its advantages. I mean, it's not too near the office, but. If I were to live in a nice flat, I wouldn't care if it was in a block like that, as long as inside is okay, you know. Doesn't really matter what, whether it's up or down or whatever. As long as the block's well kept and doesn't have, you know, vermin in it, which can happen. Then you've got a lot of people huddled together like that, it can be an attraction for uh, vermin of one kind or another, whether it's ants or rats or... And I don't like all of that. The land, uh, the ground um, in Moscow is pretty good for high-rise building. London clay doesn't really allow this kind of building, so London spreads out a lot further without that much by way of really high buildings. If you want to build really high in London, you've got to make a huge foundation. So it's not so cheap to do it. And only the central part really looks like that, whereas uh, here you've got high rise coming right out quite a long way through the whole residential area. And it means that within a 15 kilometer radius of the center, you've got, you know, eight million people. And beyond that, another four, not far away. So, um, within the radius where, where London offers eight, Moscow already has 12. Just because of the size of the high-rise building. And of course, it means that um, you can do certain things in a city that has people bunched together. Yeah? You, can, you can achieve certain economies of scale. The parts of London where um, people are bunched more together, like Westminster, always had the lower rates because you can do waste management much more effectively when people are all bunched up together and they're living by certain common rules. 
um, policing things like that can tend, tend to be per head of population tend to work out a little bit cheaper when you've got a higher population in one place that's the positive side and again so you've got the negatives as well ah there's on stankin on television tower over there and i'm basically li living so close to that that uh, I don't suppose I'd have that much problem with television signals if, uh, although if you live right up close to a telly tower, you can actually have an issue um, with the signal because you're right underneath it. It's like being right underneath a lamp. Uh, sometimes the, 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 lamp, the light of a lamp isn't, as, isn't the strongest when you're standing right underneath it. Effectively, if you want to find me in, in Moscow, that's the place to look for, the tele telly tower, and I'll be right underneath. That's where I used to work, and now it's where I'm, uh, I'm going to live, so it's interesting, isn't it?